Okay, so we're going to be continuing with Everain. Last time we actually left off after Ethan finished his first trial. So uh, yeah, we're going to continue from there, see what happens next. Things are getting really good right now, we're getting right into the whole Origami Killer story. Finding a lot of clues and stuff, and uh, it's getting pretty good right now. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, let's get straight back into it. Okay, so we're playing as Madison. She's actually coming to the same hotel with the Ethan was at. Or is it? I'm actually recording this not long after the fourth uh, uh, gameplay I recorded of it. So I'm still pretty fucking tired, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep playing through this, grinding the videos, and uh, I'll catch up in the sleep later. That way I can fix my sleeping schedule and start streaming properly tomorrow. Hi. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Uh, okay. Please stop looking at me. Please. Madison Page 27. Single. <laughs> How long will you be staying with us, Miss Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah, I bet was you fucking pervert. <laughs> that obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. Oh man, I fucking I hope not. Need a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Room 201. Stairs, stairs on the right. right. That's the stairs we're on. Okay. Right, so. That's 2. Ah, it's 2 1. Okay. That was easy. Why are you standing out in the fucking cold? No You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Maybe he just couldn't make it any further on his own. 207. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? There we go. Have you got the key? Right, let's get him into the room. You good? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. Oh. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. I can fucking it imagine. It looks deep. Um, medicine. medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet Shit. in the bathroom. Going the complete wrong way. This. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay. 
So that's for that. No, no, no. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Right, we'll give him this first. Here. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. We're not going to get on the rest of the stuff? I can't afford to wait. Fair enough. Well, we are getting them the rest of the stuff. Why? No, no, don't, don't even walk back out there. Look that way. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, we can use this for the cut in his head. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. He's actually fine. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Okay, nice. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. Uh, yeah, you'd have a few days to wait. Alright. Let me help you. Poor fucking guy, man. He's just trying to save his son. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Why are you perving? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing. Why are we looking through this stuff? Why are we doing this? And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Oh shit. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Oops. Oh shit. Let's just, um, sit down, act casual. We weren't looking for anything, we weren't doing anything. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Yeah, you better. <laughs> By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Poor gay man. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep okay. going. It's time for trial number two. Let's see, what one is this one again? The bar. Oh, I remember it. I remember this one. Okay. 
So this one's actually pretty fucking good. I don't think we're doing it just now, but I'm pretty sure we'll get it in this episode. Or in this playthrough. Don't know why I keep calling them episodes. Technically episodes. So uh, yeah, I think I'll just stick with that. It seems simpler. Especially since it's just habit now anyway. I remember this uh, chapter actually. This one's a lot of fun. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I was hoping it'd kill you. I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Ironic. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. <laughs> a street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Oh, is that a bit too much for you? Can you not handle that? Fucking jackass. That's him. We get such an epic chase in this Here's chapter. Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Why? Why would you just? Why would you do that? That is not a smart idea. Oh shit. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Nice slide. Excuse me. Is that it? <laughs> oh shit. Just fucking throwing everything on the floor. I actually almost missed that one. Take the high ground. There we go. Ah, shit. Nice and easy. There we go. Fucking chickens. Oh, God. Dude's making a fucking mess of the place. I realise I said chicken is so fucking weird, but you know I'm blaming that and how tired I am. Where the fuck is Blake? He's getting the coffee off his expensive suit. <laughs> Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Yeah, oh fuck. He actually did. Didn't expect him so soon. Good fucking throw. Nope. Come on, jackass. You fucking suck. Yeah, you're getting done and you've got a fucking weapon. Oh. Shit. This isn't good. Come on, we need to take it from Knock him out. Ooh! Nice! Where we got him? Hey, thanks for showing up. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Yeah, no. Definitely not him. Or is it? But that'd be too easy to just have him already, so... Unlikely. Hope you get. Dude, fucking get up. 
got a job to do. Let me just switch that on. Pretty sure he's got a bottle of whiskey or something nearby. Okay, so he used to be a cop. Until he became a private detective. in here? Inhaler? Do you even need it just now? I guess. Okay. There's a bottle of whiskey in the bottom drawer. Yes it is. I think it's whiskey. I don't know. I'm just assuming it is. Because it just sounds cool to say. Now that is how you wake yourself up. Okay. So now we'll take a look at this. And see if we can find any clues. I mean, until... I'm waiting for it. Never mind. Never mind, I was wrong. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Marks, the kid who disappeared. Oh, fridge. You got any beers in the fridge? Of course you do. Always got to do this when I get the chance. Just getting nuggets in there as well. Okay. I don't even think there's anything in here, is there? Nah. You can't breathe with this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining. Don't we all? Especially poor fucking Sean. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Says there. Okay. Yeah, I can't look in there, okay? Guess we just do this. Okay, nice. Right, so what else is there? I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. Oh. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Can I, can I not look at that? There's, there's something there to look at. Okay, I guess not. Who is this? You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Ah, she's back. Can I come in? Sure. sure. Um. Let me cool. take your coat. Just be, be nice here. And the drink. Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Okay, so the glasses were in that cupboard that we opened in the kitchen. Why are you walking back out? Why are you... Don't do it. Okay. 
We've got a glass of water. I don't expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Here you go. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. Okay. What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Nice. Well, I don't know Two why, or three other people has got a letter. Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Huh. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. So he's on to something. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Hmm. There's nothing you can do to help, Lord. It's not a good idea. Yeah, it's okay. really not. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Dangerous. An investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelton? Plenty. This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. <laughs> You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? Yeah, I'd say that's fair. Okay, so now we've got a partner with us. Hmm. Ah, I remember this bit now. There's such an epic scene in this uh, chapter slash portion of the current chapter. I don't know. If, I don't think it's a different chapter from actually talking to. I think it's the same one. So I'm just gonna refer to it as the portion of this chapter. Kind of makes it easier than referring to it as another chapter. I need to stop saying that now. I'm just kind of confused myself. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. This is definitely going to be a copyright. Yep. Definitely. I mean, I fucking hope not, but... Okay. Mr. Core another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. First, okay? we're getting a drink. Okay. Just let me know if you need me. I think. Can I even get a drink? Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. <laughs> well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Yeah. Whiskey. Whiskey straight up, no ice. See now, this is what we're here for. As well as investigating the murder of eight children. But that as well. 
Don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. I can't hear myself thinking here. See if he knows anything. Hi. Great party, huh? Hi. He is fucked. God, um... Hello! Hi. See if they know anything. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his cat. Oh, really? Why? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? You know, I think I will. Excuse me. Can't get past her. See if she knows anything. I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Oh shit. Okay. And I'm gonna assume that this is the stairs. Excuse me. Nobody allowed upstairs. Fuck it. Look, Cinder fella. I trust me, I'll be ten times funnier. Nice, that doesn't work. I want to see Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Uh, I should have probably took a different approach. Wait, what was that? Wait. Maybe bust a few heads. Yeah, attempt it, but not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Oh, come on, I went to the. Let's see if he can help us out. You see that guy over there? Oh shit. Do you know what he said about you? What he said. The master! <laughs> oh, sort him out. Looks like we didn't need to bust a few heads together. You can just make them do it to each other. Fucker. Now's our chance. Dude, the movement in this is so awkward. There we go. Piece of cake. Gordon must be up here somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, gotta find Gordon. The later, still fucking at it. Oh shit. Yeah, he's getting moved. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. He's got a bend here. Yep, that'll be him. <laughs> hey! Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. What the fuck are you watching? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the Origami Killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. He's not <laughs> at all interested, is he? <laughs> oh, you know, it seems like we've got to play the role of the asshole. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! We just hit a nerve. What do you want? Accuse him. saw little Joseph Brown get into your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated. Till your father. 
Made a little phone call. And file was closed. Ah. Now what I want to know is what really happened. You know, just so I make sure that you had nothing to do with the Oigami killer. Smart. So myself clear. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. I hear that guy right there. Police arrived. I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. It seems like a snarky little about, fuck. Right? Aggressive. You don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? Dude seems like a coward. I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you are more than a suspect mm. for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure you have some serious problems. Damn right. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. You're full of shit. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. To be fair, we Get could just, like, arrest him for that. Because technically that could count as a confession. I think. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. See, I'm better than all of yous. What are you trying? I mean, look at you. This dude's fucking enjoying himself. Nope. Give me a gun so I can just fucking shoot all of them. Or not. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Fuck your father. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Yeah, we'll see about that. We will see. He's just sitting back down watching that fucking weird checking thing that he's watching. Like, what is that he's watching? The fuck? By the way, that was a lot of fun. Um, I just need to make sure we're still good for time. Because I think this is going to be the second thing, trial. Okay, yeah, we can definitely fit this trial in, and then we can end it after this. Really cannot wait to play through this trial again, it is amazing. Do just playing through this game again, it is amazing I actually finally getting to do a series on it. It is great. remember playing this, like, way back in 2011, 2012. Definitely 2011, actually. Just wishing I could actually fucking do videos on it. Now I've got it in the PS4, so I can. Which is actually awesome. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. Come on. Put your fucking back in it. Or not. Okay. I guess that's locked. We're really heavy. Your origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. Okay. So... Am I looking for a butterfly? That would make sense, yeah. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, you will see, Ethan. You it will see. Trap. I had better be careful. Okay, we can get in here. 
Nay, sneezer. There we go. Shit. Yeah, this isn't going to be a good. This isn't a good start. Even though it's meant to happen, so like, but Electrical still, condensers. it just shows how fucked this is going to be. Active. Butterfly, I see it. You know, things might be better once we get in out of the rain. Unlikely, but it might be. A butterfly on the door. That's where I need to get to. Okay, nice. Um right, we wanna go through here. Come on. Here we go. Almost there, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, nice. Box of matches. Definitely need these. And now we need to go through there. Which is definitely not going to be fun. But we should be fine. There's glass and everything there. Shit. And there's no way back. I should never have got into this pipe. It's suicide. Trust me, it's not. It's a lot worse. Where's this pipe go? I've got a bad feeling. Ah, shit. Glass, broken glass, sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. I've got to get out of here. There's got to be a way out. Ah, oh, fuck. Stupid fucking pipe. And Sean is gonna die because of me. No, he's not. We're not gonna allow it. Don't you fucking worry. Right, so we definitely need to go right because there is a butterfly there. But this is just technically showing us. How to find the way out for the rest of the turns. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Nice. Shit, nice and easy. What the fuck? What are you doing? You're just making this so much worse for yourself. Bro, stop fucking turning around, man. You're meant to turn right, not actually turn all the way fucking round. Turn around, man. Fucking hell. Bro, I swear to god you fucking turn round once more. You're actually acting like a fucking moron. Oh my god. See, you can't even fucking go that way. Now, we just need to keep going that way. Still is a serious fucking idiot, honestly. I don't know if it's like the controls being weird or if it's actually my, just, just my controller. Even though I don't think it's that bad. Right, we need to see which way now. Left, okay. Now, 
Are you capable of turning left? I just... I didn't even turn, I just made him go straight into the wall so he would turn himself. As long as I go splash, it'd be fine. Just as long as I don't go too slow. Okay. And I've got a feeling we go... Right? Maybe? I'm not gonna chance it, I'm just gonna... Check the match again. Yeah, it's left. Rats, charming. If they got in, oh, maybe I can get out. Oh, my God. Okay, so now Nico, right? No. Oh, I swear to fucking god, please actually turn around and go properly. Oh, fuck. No, we're not going towards the dead body. No, turn around. Oh my god, dude, I swear to fucking god, man. Here we go. Looks. Well, what way am I going? I'm lost now because this fucking idiot goes the wrong way. Right, yes, yeah, straightforward. Go! I can't wait to get out of this fucking tunnel. Really cannot wait. Seriously, this has got a fucking heart. Right? Left? Right? Right. Dude, what the fuck are you... What are you... <sighs> now just go forward and... Just fucking turn right, thanks. We're almost out of this one part of it. Thank God for that. This dude was a complete fucking idiot this entire time. But honestly, at this point, I think it is my controller. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, thank God for that. That's got a fucking heart. I mean, look at his legs. Holy shit. Don't even know where it leads. Could lead to hell. Right. To be fair, you're already in fucking hell. Okay, down the shit we go. Down the big hole. Down the big pipe. Whatever the fuck it takes us. That's got to be really fucking uncomfortable, especially after just cutting yourself to bits in glass. Hey, come on, up you get. You're not done yet. Oh shit, I actually pressed square instead. Such an idiot. 
There we go. Now this bit is fucked. Like he has to go through all of that to get out or to find the next clue. So we really need to not mess up here. There is a door there that we can just easily walk out. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. But you know, I'm not gonna do that. We've already been through hell. Can't get much worse than that. This one looks easy to get through. Just gotta find the best one that you can easily fit through. Nice. Not that one. That one doesn't look good enough. We can get through this. You just feel what you analyse them before you try and continue on. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. This is actually making me fucking nervous. Right, look forward. I don't know if we can get through that. I think we can, we'll, we'll chance it. I think we should manage it. No, we can't get through that. Come on, turn around. Okay, we go under this one. See, it's a good thing I backed out of that because there's no way we could have got through that. Whereas this one, we can just go straight under it. Come on. Nice. Nope. Okay, we can easily get through this. Watch your fucking heads, please. Nice. We're getting there. Nope, can't get through that one. What about this? No, you can't get through that. Fuck! I'm just really trying to play this as safe as possible. I wasn't even, like, through it or anything, so I don't know how that could have possibly fucking burnt me. Am I going backwards now? Yeah, I just fucking went backwards. Fucking hell, man. You can tell it's been a while since I've played this. I know what I'm doing, I just can't remember the route. Plus with this controller, and just the way the controls are in this, it's so fucking hard to actually look about properly. Not gonna chance that one. Okay, we can get under this one. The one way I didn't look. 
See, it's so easy to get lost which way, like, you need to go as well. Okay, now this one should be a lot easier. I'm hoping. Come on. We've only been burnt once, it's not that bad. We're okay. We're so close, we've literally just got one more to go. Come on. Nice, good jump through it. Nice. And we've done it. That is two trials completed. Two out of two. Fuck man, poor Sean. We know we're very slowly getting there. Very slowly. But definitely getting there. And that is the second trial completed. A few cut, well, with two cut knees, two cut elbows, and a serious burn mark. Could have been a lot worse though. But we're going to end this part here. It seems like a good place to end it. And uh, yeah, we'll be continuing on in the next part with Madison. Who I'm pretty sure bumps into Ethan again. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did and want to see more Heavy Rain, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.